Hello! In this video, I'm going to go over the process of how to create morph targets for your characters inside of Unreal Engine. So I can make this guy angry, I can make him shocked, and it's just a super um, neat tool. So I learned about this when I was originally making some things inside of my ninja game. I'm still working on it, just very slowly. And I learned about morph targets, and it's a super quick and simple process to set up, so I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. Before we start, if you want to learn how to create a bunch of cool Unreal Engine game projects, check out my website, link will be in the description of this video. I recently added my how to make a melee combat system in Unreal Engine 5 to my website. So make sure to check it out. So, the first thing we need to do is create some morph targets for our model. I'm going to use Blender to do this. In Blender, there are two different ways that we can create a morph target. The first way is by selecting our model and manually creating a morph target. To do that, select your model, then click this little triangle icon and go shape keys and just click this add button and press it twice. It's going to create this first one called basis and the second one is going to be how we're going to morph our mesh. So I'm going to call this big lips. Then if I just go to edit mode and with my model selected, I'm just going to make the lips of this model bigger. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So I've made the lips of this model bigger. Then I'm just gonna go back to object mode. And now if I select this big lips and I change this value to go from zero to one, it's gonna make my character's lips bigger to how I edited it. And if I just change this back to zero, then my model's gonna go back to its original position. If you want your model to morph into a different model, so for example here, I have loads of different faces. If I want this model to be able to morph into one of these um, faces here, what I can do is select the faces I want my character to morph into. So I'll select this face, this face, this face, and this face. Then if I select the um, model that I want to morph into all of these different faces, so I'll select this face last, it'll be highlighted in orange. Then what I can do is click this little um, shape key specials here. Then we just want to click join as shape keys, and this will transfer all of these meshes onto this mesh as a shape key. So now I can select this soldier head smile and change this value from zero to one and it'll change my character's model to be the smiling one. I can just change this back to zero. And then if I, for example, select the shocked one, I can change this from a value of zero to one and it'll make my character's model more like the shocked one. So with this, we have created some morph targets quickly in Blender. The next thing we're gonna do is export it out to Unreal Engine and then import it and set it up in Unreal Engine. So to export this from Blender, I'm just gonna delete all of the uh, models that I'm not using and I'm just going to put this to the center. Then to export it, just go File, Export. We want to select FBX and just save this somewhere to your desktop. So I'm just going to call this Face. Once you've exported your morph target, just find it and then drag and import it into your Unreal Engine project. When you import it, make sure to check Skeletal Mesh and then you need to go to Advanced here and just make sure that you check this Import Morph Targets Otherwise, it won't work. So make sure that import morph targets is checked and schedule mesh is checked. Otherwise, it won't work when we import it. So we can just click import. And if I just open it up and go over to the schedule mesh, here we're going to have this morph targets um, tab. And here I can basically edit my character's face. So I can change this to be the shock face by playing with this value. And I'll make my character's face become shocked. In Unreal Engine, it also make it so the morph target can become negative. So if I just make this... Here, I can make this minus one, although that looks kind of weird, but Unreal Engine just allows that to happen if you wanted to maybe have that. So I can make this have the terror face. I can make this have the angry face. I can even make this have a combination of both faces if I wanted to. I'm just gonna change this back to zero and all of its values. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is create a couple of blueprints to show you how you can edit morph targets at runtime. So if I just close this and create a new blueprint, so I'll right click, go to blueprint class and select actor, and I'll just call this my face underscore BP. And if I open this up, just go add and look for skeletal mesh. For the skeletal mesh, select the skeletal mesh that we just imported, the face. Then if we go over to the event graph, we just want to drag in the skeletal mesh, drag off here and look for set morph target for the morph target that you want to edit 
just go back to the face skeletal mesh and I'm going to make it so I can play around with my character's smile morph target. I'm just going to showcase one example. What you want to do is copy the name of whatever this is called. So this is called soldier underscore head underscore smile. So here under morph target name, I'm going to need to make sure that that is spelled exactly the same. So I'm just going to do that now. Then we just want to right click and look for add custom event and just call this edit smile and connect this into here. And for this value, we're basically going to make this go from a value of zero to one with a slider. That way we can edit our schedule meshes smile. We just want to select this custom event and go create new input and just call this value and make it a float and then connect this into here. Then just compile and save this. Then if we close this, we're gonna create a widget blueprint. So if I right click, go use interface and set widget blueprint and just call this the face underscore widget blueprint. And we'll make it so we can edit the player character's um, smile with a slider. In the palette, I'm just gonna look for a canvas panel, drag this in, and then I'm just gonna look for some text I'm going to anchor this to the center and I'll just make it say smile. Then if we just look for a slider and drag this underneath the smile, and I'm also just going to anchor this to the top. Sliders go from a minimum value of zero to a max value of one. So just leave this at the default value and we'll make it so that when we adjust the slider we will adjust the faces um smile morph target so to do that we just want to go to the graph and we're going to create a new variable and just call this face reference for the variable type select the face underscore bp that we just made so you want to select this and select object reference then we just want to select our slider and just select this on value changed on value changed, what we're going to do is drag in our face reference, get it, and then we're just going to drag off here and call the edit smile custom event that we just made and connect the value into here and this into here. Then we can compile this. That way, when we edit this slider, it will edit our face. Next, to add this um, widget blueprint to the screen, what we can do is event begin play. We just want to drag off here and look for create widget the widget we're going to create is going to be the face underscore widget blueprint if i just quickly go back to this and go over to the graph we want to go back to the face reference and just select instance editable and expose on spawn and compile this then go back to the face blueprint right click here and refresh nodes and for the face reference just drag up here and look for self that way when we create this um, widget blueprint it knows what face to basically edit the slider for then we just want to drag off here and look for add to viewport and just compile this, close this. And then if I drag this face BP into my game and I'm just going to simulate this because I'm in a third person project and we can see um, it will spawn me in this game and it will load up my widget blueprint. And if I just adjust this slider, my character will start to smile. If I make this go back, then my character will lose their smile. And with this, we have created a simple uh, morph target. So that is all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.